What's going on guys, my name is Ty, this is the Dividend Stock King with another video. On this channel we talk about dividend investing, passive income, making money online. We want to build other streams of income. I don't believe that our job, our one job should pay eight or nine different bills and we can't rely on one job to pay all these bills all at one time because our job is not guaranteed. We can lose our job, the job can re relocate, so I think we should start uh, building passive income through an online business and dividend investing. So today we're talking about BP, BP, table symbol BP. We all know what BP pretty much is. We see them driving on the roads. We hear news about it sometimes, good and bad, with the oil spills or whatever. But BP is an oil and gas company. Excuse me. Um, I have five shares in BP. Um, and I'm up $7.39. Um, Let's see. So um, this is BP. This is my dividend history. They pay um, 31 cents per share, which is not bad. Um, and it's 25 bucks a share. So British Petroleum, that's what it stands for. British Petroleum. Uh, they're at headquarters of London, uh, Great Greater London. Uh, they have 63,000 employees. So this is Seeking Alpha here, and this is BP in the energy sector, um, gas sector, and uh, this is this is uh, BP and the dividend history. Uh, the last five years, they was paying a 60 cent dividend. So they was paying a higher dividend in 2017. In 2018, it went up one cent. In 2020, it was going up, you know, Every year, one cent, but when the pandemic happened, um, well, I guess after the pandemic, they took a they cut the dividend in half, so it could have been almost in half. So that's a pause, that's a you know, uh, a, a cost for pause. Um, these are one of the uh cons of um, dividend investing is that companies can cut their dividend and you rely on that six three cents a share. And they cut it in half. They just cut your income in half. So it's always to diversify. And I'm not giving no financial advice. I'm not giving no stock advice. This is my personal opinion. Please do your own research before you buy anything in the stock market. But this is why people say diversify. Because if you're depending on BP and they cut the dividend in half, you lost half your income. Okay, so I never have one sector. I never invest this in one stock. I probably have like 20 different stocks that I invest in. 80% is monthly, and that 20% is probably quarterly. And BP is a stock that I invest in, because I'm gonna tell you why I invest in BP. There's an app. Now, I'm gonna put the app name in the below the box here. There's an app called the Get Upside Gas app, okay? And what this app does is uh, you'll get cash back on the gasoline that you buy anyway. So you use the app, you attach your credit card, debit card. Now you can credit your debit card, debit card, Back then, last year, you had a screenshot of your receipt. And what you do, you use your debit card attached to the app, and you buy gas like you normally would, and you get cash back within three to four business days. So you're talking about, uh, you might get a dollar some change back, two dollars back. Well, that stuff adds up over time. So if I'm, and so I, I am also an Uber driver as well. I drive on the weekend, so I'm buying gas every week, and my wife has a vehicle. I put gas in her car every week, so it makes sense to get the Get Upside Gas app uh, to get cash back on my gas. Does it make sense? Well, if I'm shopping at BP on a weekly basis, I should have some ownership of BP. That's the way I feel about BP. I should have ownership. So that's a good tip for anybody who wants to invest in something. What do I invest in? Do you have a favorite gas station? If you have a favorite gas station. You might want to buy some shares in that gas station since you go there on a weekly basis. You go there, you like the gas, you like the how the gas is. You know, where I live at, a BP's like five minutes down the down the road, and we go out of town to see my uh, uh, in laws. There's a BP around the corner from the house, so BP is pretty much my primary gas station. So it just makes sense with the the location where they are, the get upside gas up, give me cash back on the gas. It just makes sense to me to, to invest at least a few shares into BP. So that's why I buy a BP. But again, everyone is different. 
You might have a Chevron or Shell near you, and uh, uh, the dealers of gas app might have Shell on, on the app, and you might have sh all around Shell all around you. Well, maybe you should, you know, start going to Shell uh, exclusively and own shares of your business because you're part owner of the business. Um, so again, I owned uh, five shares of BP. Uh, I'll show it to you here. I want I, I like to own the, the stock that I have. I own five shares. Average cost twenty four dollars. And when I was time to record the video it was twenty five dollars. Here's BP's website. Here's the here's what you people need to go. The first thing you go to the website, go to the company's website. How's it look? Does it look up to date? Does it have all the information that you need? Um, here's the investors website, and they tell you all the uh, what they're doing. Um, and I think they're going more uh, besides oil and gas to try to do other energy types of things. So that's a good thing to know because right now people we're starting to transition from gas and oil. Which not go in my opinion it's not going nowhere anytime soon. But slowly we're going to more solar and EVs. But I think gasoline and oil will still be here um, because you know <laughs> electricity can go out and your car won't work, but my gas car will work. So. I don't think it's going to wear time soon, but go to the website here. Go to the website, read information about it. They have a whole section on dividends here, on um, major products they're doing. So click on dividends and see what comes up. Um, let's see. So it tells you all of the board directors decide, that decided decided to, to offer a script dividend alternative in respect to the first quarter dividend. So it's, it's, it's all information about the dividends here. Um, all the information here about the dividend um, and again you know you do your own research before you buy any stocks uh, anything online I'm not saying for me the reason I invest in BP is because um, I said the get upside gas out and I, I might leave a link below the video of the get upside gas out what I, here's what I would do go to the App Store or Apple Store type in the get upside gas app right the get upside gas app download the app Use my promo code for the Get Upside Gas app and get cash back on the gas you will buy anyway. And I, and my promo code, you get a bonus on your first tank of gas. You get a bonus ten cent using my link. So the link will be in the description below. Check that out. Um, that's the major reason why I invest in BP because you know I, I get cash. I, I'm I'm always there with the gap the Get Upside Gas app. Um, so here's the major products they're doing. They're trying to diversify the portfolio and projects. I think they know that you know stuff. More stuff is coming. Uh, we put that 900, uh, 900 mo mobile. That's crazy. 900. Uh, they, they tell you what they're working on. Um, they'll tell you where they are. Um, I mean, it's a good. It's a good website to go read information. Um, but I basically bought this share. I was going to BP every week. I say, man, it, 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 it would it make any? Would it make sense if I just go ahead and buy a few shares of BP? So I'm always here. It doesn't make sense. Um, you know, BP is okay. The gas is good. But this is this is my thought process when I'm buying a stock. If I'm, if I'm if I'm at a certain store every week, if I'm at Walmart every week. I should own shares at Walmart. That is my personal opinion. That's my personal opinion. Now you do your own research on what you want to do, but if I'm always at Walmart. I will, I will want to you know own Walmart. Now I need, I, I'm always at Kroger, so I need to buy a share at Kroger. Now I do have fractional shares at Kroger through another brokerage, so I do have some shares at Kroger through there. But with the Robinhood, I do need to own a share, a full share of Kroger since we're there almost every other week. So that's my thought process. If I'm if I have a get upside gas app that's giving me cash back on gas, it just makes sense to own shares of the gas company. That's that just makes sense to me, but everyone's different. So this is BP. Do your research and look at the um oh, they will pull up. What will we use Robinhood? The five year trend is down right now. Um the five year trend will load up on Robinhood. It's this Robinhood web browsers. Here we go. The five-year trend of uh, BP 2017, you know, it's always been 30. It might go to $40. Um, it was trending down for a little while. And then you know, it, was, it was about $40 stock, average price. And then, you know, the pandemic happened. 
it dropped. And that's a, I mean, that's a good price to buy that once it drops. And you should have invested in the stock market March of 2020. Everything was on sale. Everything was on everything was on sale. You should have invested March 2020. You should have, that's the best place because this stock was $17. And it's slow because the Clement, when the pandemic happened, they had stay-at-home orders and people were not driving. Schools were closed. So nobody was buying gas. And the gas price has dropped because no one was buying gas. The price stock dropped. That's a factor in it. And people probably sold up shares before the drop happened, too. So that's the dumb thing people notice. People probably knew that what was going on, and they sold their shares. Uh, but right now, it's going back up. It's at $25 right now, still lower than, you know, last year of 2020. It was at $30, you know, last year. So it's still um, cheaper still. And we're in April, to about last April, what I'm showing, uh, last April. But um, yeah, last April it was it was around the same price last year, twenty four dollars. So it's the same price as last year. So you're not really buying. You're still buying a dip, you know. Which you still. Cause now what you see now is so we have a year into the situation. Now we're seeing where stocks are when they drop down, and then are they the same price they were a year ago, or they're going up? And BP is right there where they were last year. Okay, so. You gotta do your own research, research before you do anything on, on the stock market. But I will um, leave a link to the, my. I'll have my referral code to get upside gas app. It's a great gas app. I use it every week, and you can build up your account two, three dollars. You get two to one dollar, two dollars every time you fill up your gas. It takes a few months to get some money, but let, let me tell you a quick tip. What I do right now, I build up. Um, Think thirty dollars. I got my phone. I have thirty dollars sitting in my account. Well, guess what I can do? So that, that's free money. I can withdraw that money to my PayPal. I put in my credit card, transfer to Robinhood, and buy me a a BP stock or another stock. So that money, that free money, is gonna make me money, passive income money for years to come. So it makes sense to get the Get Upside Gas app. Okay. So how about I have my promo promo code in the box below. Also, I have my course, not my course, but I have a, a course that I took to help me build an online business. So check that course out below. So my name is Tyler, the Dividend Stock King. Thanks for watching.